our lives are run by certain principles. If we live, live by the principles, our life can be pleasant, joyful, and happy. But most of us, many of us, misunderstand the principles. Instead of principles, we just uh, live based on our habit or emotion, react. So that's how our life, you know, get, uh, getting, uh, go, goes wrong. So, so what, what kind of principles, um, could you Yeah. <laughs> so the first one is the most toughest principle, but, um, I accepted it and I, I applied it and my life started to change. It's a, a lot of, a lot of people already mentioned that. So it's don't blame others. Improve yourself because you created that circumstances. So, for example, uh, when somebody in certain situation, you know, when one of them felt hurt, then we feel we think, oh, that person is a victim, and then this person is the you know did wrong. Right. But actually, based on jump up. If you feel hurt, that means you need to change something. Does you what you created and this person just show up to take the role in your circumstances, in your environment? So you have 70% your responsibility in this situation. And this person show up and because this person's energy is exactly matched with this role, and this person carry 30%. And then 70 and 30, they match together and create the perfect uh, situation and it happened. So, so I read the uh, Quora website, Quora, you know, Quora.com. Yeah. Quora. So one, yeah, one questioner posted. So how can I deal with my uh, abusive parents? My stepfather is, really violent and then my mother is very emotionally abusive and I'm 28 years old and my life is pretty comfortable except that you know except my uh, the abuse abuse there there can be many many different uh, advice so there are so many people you know, so many answers but I like the one of that the guy said save money reduce expenses change your lifestyle and then live independent. So, so the, the, the questioner, uh, she sounds like a woman and then the, she focused on the abusing situation. And then, so she, as she think is abusing situation, she put herself as victim and then at this situation, she cannot see the situation, the whole picture. Yeah, I definitely could understand that. I think like, you know, when you feel hurt in your life and you want to blame the other person, if you don't decide to change your life and realize you have the power, like you said, that, that 70% relies yeah. on the situation. Mm -hmm. You'll always carry that such anger and it will hurt you physically and emotionally. But if mm. you realize the situation is an opportunity and mm. just that maybe you have grew this situation and to grow more, maybe you need a different environment. Like mm. I talked about a palm tree. Like a palm tree can't grow in New York City. It needs the right mm. environment. <laughs> Could you say in some respect that when you look okay. So let me, let me finish the, the story. So if she, she, this is the last chance for her to grow. I mean, the biggest chance to grow. If he stay and con she want to continue the comfortable life, living with the parents, but she, the, the, the parents will, their, the pressure will be bigger and bigger. And her life, we get worse and worse. She get a lot of stress and even she cannot, you know, uh, do good performance in her work. But if she really decides, okay, I'll give up my comfortable life. 
I will just uh, grow at this point. And then if she really, you know, uh, make effort to grow herself, then when she come back to visit her parents in three years, then their parents will treat her differently because she's changed. So because her 70, her, because of her 70% okay. effort, okay. the other 30% changes. I understand. So energetically, when you change everything, mm -hmm. so in other words, mm -hmm. we go back to where we were before. Mm -hmm. Like everything could change again, right? And it's yeah. Like, yeah. Uh -huh. Wow, that's like so, amazing. That's what I applied. <clears throat> so when I left, so I didn't have anything much position. And then, but uh, I met my wife. So we, we came together in Hawaii, it's very rural area, very rural. And then. I never been. Like, hmm? Come one day and visit you too. <laughs> <laughs> Please come. It's quiet. <laughs> and then the, so parents, parents in law, they supported us. They provided us with the space, you know. So we feel like, uh, I felt like uh, our wings are broken. We are tired, tired, weary, sure. and broken. So they gave us small space. We could rest, heal, and start to build strength. So at the time, that was, um, as I look, look back my life situation, I have uh, billions to blame. You know, <laughs> but uh, that's just thirty percent. Actually, I created my seventy percent situation. Until that point, that's all I created. So, if the if it was not that person, if it was not that organization, somebody else would show up to take their role. So that's why you know, in the four four agreement, Don Miguel Ruiz, the book, his book. He said the second agreement is the don't take it personally, don't accept it as uh, personally. That's something. So he's a, yeah, his reason is a little bit different, but it's a continuing the same perspective. It's his 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 issue, the other person's issue, but the the person came to my life because I created that you know environment. If it's not him, maybe the other person will show up. So you, as long as you blame the person personally, you cannot change the situation. And because you ignore your 70%, your life gets worse and worse. So focus on yourself. Improve yourself. Yeah. It's really hard to swallow. But once you really apply those principles, I can even say for myself, things are getting better and I'm connecting with my my true nature more and just sending more love out and and peace and you know <laughs> for me i could accept the principle easily because i was at the bottom no other choice <laughs> yeah you really went through a big transition mm -hmm. at the time it's kind of nice that you experience like sort of mm -hmm. like when you let go you know you wind it up with the beautiful your beautiful mm -hmm. wife and her family they Thank you. you. Welcome, and they mm -hmm. they gave you another life, like you said. Mm -hmm. That was only half of it, what you mm -hmm. did, and now you're in this this other half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then all my experience are very important. Um, the foundation for my next growth. Wow, I'm excited. <laughs>